everyone, Flash Knight here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to escape chapter 2 inside of Accurate Piggy Roleplay. This chapter may take a while to escape since it really needs a little bit of memory to complete. So let's get into it. A quick tip is to make sure your graphics are turned right down to 3 bars, because this map is very dark and this will help you see a lot better. As soon as you start, you're going to want to walk forwards and grab these scissors. Take the scissors this way towards a little rope and once you do that, the plank will drop. Grab the plank and bring it over this way, which is where you can place it. Now look around until you find the pink key which you have to use on these two cupboards right next to each other. Open the cupboards and look around until you find a blue key card which you can bring over here, over the plank and unlock this door with the card. Now, what you're going to want to do is walk back and grab the scissors, then walk back to the room you opened with the card and walk up here and cut these wires. Then, walk back and grab the wrench, and then walk back to the card room again, but this time a monster is going to chase you. Use the wrench on this and then look around for the phone. Click on the phone and wait for the cutscene to end. Afterwards, walk around and search for the wheel. Once you find the wheel, walk over the plank and place the wheel on this. You will then be able to go into this room where you can grab the green key. Grab the green key, now follow where I go. Afterwards, unlock this green door and then look around for the blue key. Now walk around the stairs and there will be a room with a blue door. Open the blue door and then if the white key is in it, bring it back to the card room and unlock this little safe with it. Now look around for the golden key and unlock the safe near where the spawn is. Afterwards, grab the shears and bring it over to where this bushy door is. Use the shears on this door and cut it open. Now, look around for the hammer. It'll be where you last left it. I like to use the hammer on these planks near the stairs before I do anything else. Now that you use the planks on the stairs, another monster is gonna spawn. It's going to be eating something on the ground. Just walk around it and don't turn back. Now, use the hammer on the boxes inside of the bushy room. This will summon a demon monster which will then disable every other monster except for itself. Now keep using the hammer on the boxes until you see a book. Don't pick the book up yet because you need to do one more step before picking it up. Walk into the card room and pick up the magnet you got from using the white key. Afterwards, walk into the green key room and up the stairs. Metal would then fall down. Use the magnet on the metal. Now walk back and pick up the book. And we'll go back again to the stairs. Place the book on this stand where it's going to have collars. Memorize the collars then look for an empty potion. Grab the potion and walk over to these flowers. Pick the collared flowers with the same collar the book had in the order up to down. Go back to the stairs after and place it next to the book. Now find the syringe which always spawns in the yellow crate. Then use it on the potion to get the cure out of it. Then walk up to your character and you'll be rewarded with the ending. Congratulations! If you guys have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!